Hey, go Broncos! What up? Welcome back to Bruise with Beck. I'm Dan, and how the hell are you today? I'm a, I'm a, I'm immaculate and yet reasonable at the same time. Thanks so much. Let's move on to day 16 of the advent calendar from Aldi. My wife so graciously bought me. Uh, this beer right here is from Carlo Bruin. Had a few of them before. Out of Leinster, Ireland. Uh, this is called O'Shea's Traditional Irish Red Ale. This is, bring in the Richter. This is 4.3% on the Richter. Um, um, you know, on a tap, there's no description, but on the back of the bottle, it says it's got a uh, strong, creamy malt and very balanced uh, bitterness to give it a, you know, phenomenal taste, basically. So there's their marketing. Um, yeah, 4.3, pr pretty light, pretty light. Um, anyway, yeah. Let's go Broncos. Uh, big golf fan, so I am the golf father. Let's get, yeah, go Buffs. And uh, yeah, I think my dad would enjoy this because he's, he's always into Killian's Red uh, back from Coors. So uh, I'm sure he'd enjoy this. And maybe he could find this out in Colorado, I'm pretty sure. So anyway, let's get to it, shall we? Day 16. Let's do it. All right. Oh, nice. Car Caramel-like. Um, small favor. Crush the like button. Really appreciate you. Crush that like button and crush the subscribe button. That way you can come with all these good beers. All the damn time. All right, all right, all right. And here's here's looking at my dad because this this uh this beer he'd probably dig. So you'd have to try it out. Uh, looks kind of cola-ish, like very dark amber. It's got some uh, sediment coming out of it too. Wow, I don't know if you can see that, but yeah, see you can kind of see the flakes of sediment rolling around in there. So. Wow, shrapnel, shrapnel in the air. All right, let's get into the aroma check. Subtle malt, I'm not getting huge malt, but subtle caramel, subtle uh, kind of nut, nutty malt. A little bit of carbonation, uh, cola type feature. Again, kind of medium, medium nutty, malty. So anyway, um, Feel like something just moved. Anyway, no words, just emotions. Let's get this Irish red. Super light malt, super clean. It's four point three. I mean, this is gonna go down like, you know, sun tea. I'm guessing. In fact, uh, as soon as I say that, kind of has a little bit of that uh, earthiness of like a you know a tea, like a sun tea. Yeah, I mean, just real earthy, subtle caramel malt um, that's real, I don't want to say it's watery, it's just very clean. Yeah, not uh, not getting a whole lot from this. I'm going to uh, be right back. I'm going to see if there's anything other people thought. Have You know, it'll warm up. It definitely was nice and ice cold. And, uh, yeah, hold on a second. Alrighty then. How the hell are you? Um, so a couple comments. Um, uh, this one sounds exactly like me. He said, it's okay. And gave it to pops. He loves this one. It's probably what would happen in my case, but I think my dad has become more refined in his beer drinking. Hey dad. Boom. Um, beer review haiku. Lively red color, good peaty malt, then turns weird. The aftertaste, wow. I mean, I don't know. Aftertaste seems pretty just dialed down. It seems, I don't want to say watery, but there's no real aftertaste to it, as far as I'm concerned. And I don't really get the peaty malt. I get, trust me, I drink Isla, you know, scotch all the time. It's not for me. That's not peaty. This is this is just like super, like almost caramel uh, soda like malt, uh, if you will. But it, it's nutty. It's not like soda, but if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, just and just ever so slightly earthy, easy going down. Uh, let's see. I feel like there was like one or two others that were 
very nice, which I wish I could get this. Yeah, wish I could get this on the regular. I don't know if I'd go that far, but all right. Um, well, well, at least the red ale is drinkable. Kind of hard for an Irish brewery to mess this up. Yeah, there's really, you know, I, I, I got to say, I was kind of expecting a little bit more bite from this. If I'm being honest. But, you know, it's easy going. Um, yeah, I mean, I just, I just had that blonde by uh, Prestige last and um, kind of similar, except one's slightly, you know, more uh, amber dark and one's blonde. There's just not, it's not bad, but there's just not a whole lot going on to it. All right. Just except for like just ever so slight earthy, uh, earthy malt with a little bit of just subtle caramel, caramelness in the, in the air. Um, so writing time. Mm -hmm. From Stellar down to, oh, hell no. Um, yeah, this gets, uh, you know, top end Advent drinkable. Basically what that means is I'm putting it in the, uh, the C category. I give this like a 78 out of a hundred. Uh, bare, you know, just barely, ever so slightly, I think, I would prefer the blonde every day. Uh, I don't know. That'd be close, but right off the bat, this comes to mind as like a 78. So, you know, nice, nice C plus. Definitely drinkable, definitely passable, but nothing, nothing special. Um, all right. Well, that concludes day 16 of Advent. Um, I think day 17 is uh, the ni a, a nice traditional pills. Again, you know, hopefully there's a little bit more uh, to that pills, even though, you know, every time I have pills, there's, there's, I feel like I'm not getting a whole lot, but, uh, you know, sometimes things surprise me. So, anyway, good talk. Go Broncos. I, I think I may go golf after this. Uh, go Buffs. And we'll see you out there. Champions. <laughs>